Guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be spawning in on the preschool as the hag. Now straight away I spawned in the middle of the street. This is actually pretty good for me. It gives me a little bit of time to get some awesome prep. Now I want to put it here that way I can go up the stairs if I need to or across the other way too. If I place it too close to one side then that could be really bad for me. What else could be really bad for me is if these guys all spawn stacking on a generator which probably happened based on the fact I spawned in the street. They're either on one of these three gens. I doubt they're up there. Oh wow I heard a girl drop. And I heard somebody on a generator as well. Wow, bud. That didn't go well, did it? There's still somebody up here. I can't believe that worked. She only did it because she had sprint burst. She slow vaulted. I don't want to chase her. Ooh, um, that's okay. It's undying. I feel this is in a good spot. I feel my trap kind of uh, removes or tells them where it is. Could have went back upstairs. Right now I'm taking advantage of the small window I have to get prep around the board. These are what I refer to as hotspots. Places where people are most likely to be high traffic areas. Alright, they could be on that, but I, I really don't have time to check on it. I want to go up there and get Megan, who's on cooldown now. I hear this. I should be able to get an M1 in the back or the pallet. I am only 110% movement speed. That was an incredibly good play. Well done. Only to take an M1 in the back. And if she runs into a trap, I'll take the teleport. Otherwise, I'll just let her go. That's one player accounted for. Megan was upstairs. Hmm, this is bad. I'm a little nervous of this generator. It should be pretty close to being done. One person, 80 seconds. Yep. She missed a skill check. Try and force both of them off the generator. See if I can get a hit at the window. Alright, Megan's is obviously more important. Getting ready to teleport straight away. Sprint burst, not going to worry about it. Oh, I hope she triggers it. I'm going to let it go. She's running exactly where I want to go, so we're going to chase her. I'll down her and then I'll go upstairs for Megan's gen. Down she goes. Megan is still up here. I'm going to put another trap down. I want some form of pressure on Megan. She'll have a sprint burst back by now and she can play the back window if she wants to. I should get the pallet for free. Nope, she decided to drop into an M1 in the back. That's good. That's a lot of players accounted for and that means two players are unaccounted for. Alright, now where do I want to hook her? Do I want to hook her in front of Megan's generator? Nah, I don't think Megan's coming back. I want to hook her all the way down here. That way I can get through the map quicker and check on some stuff. These other two guys should be very close to popping their own individual generators. As opposed to, if they were stacked, the generator would have popped by now. Alright, I don't hear anything. We do have pretty good prep in the street. Did I just see somebody? Yes, I did. Max range hit. It's a very good one. Get her to hesitate with a little sidestep. Pretty good sloppy butcher. And I see the other Megan over here too. Not playing car. That's nice. I don't want her to trigger this trap. This is good. I got pressure on every single survivor available right now. That crow despawned in front of the hook. Does that tell me somebody's here? Yes, it does. I'm too far away from that teleport. Yeah, sprint burst, I remember. I don't want to chase the one that's on death hook. Down goes this one. It's very unfortunate. She just needed to wait and be more patient. The longer she waited, the more prep I got. Alright, let's pick this one up. Let's put her on the hook. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a trap under the hook because I'm pretty sure if it's a guy it DSs me, he's on sprint burst cooldown, but he'll run in and try and save this guy. By the time I'm finished recovering from the stun, I'll be able to teleport and get an M1 in the back. Let's put it there. Let's go back over. See if she has decisive. Oh, she's trying to crawl towards her. Kind of think she does. No DS. It's big. The sooner I get her the hook, the sooner I can teleport back across. Hopefully I get the hook in time. I'm still going for it. I expected somebody to be here. You lunge first, then you then you look. That's a little little trick with the hag as well. You want to always lunge first, yeah? She can play window on me now. She's not though. That, that's a closed window, sweetie. You need to go to the other one. Bit of an odd play. All 
Alright, this guy's on full health, so. Ooh, Megan. Take an ISM one in the back. Round she goes. Unfortunately, she's gonna let go on hook. No point in me really prepping her again now that she's done that. I'm gonna put this trap here. I'm also gonna open up this doorway. Normally, it'd be a bad play, but I can teleport over here when I need to. One of them's been healed. I know one of them's at the shack. One generator's been completed. This is a very good spot for us to be in as the hag. Don't think she worked on her generator. That's fine. The good news is I can actually trap Megan's generator upstairs around the wall and Megan... I hear you crying, duh. The good news is I can trap Megan's generator upstairs from around the wall and she won't be able to see it. She'll just run around the wall to get on the generator then she'll trigger the trap and then I can respond. Because when you put a trap on the ground, it leaves like a little... I don't want to say stardust effect, but a little um, little smoke that people can see. So if I put that around the wall up here... She'll be able to hear me place a trap though, right? If I put it up here around the wall, she'll probably come running around the corner and not see it. Unless she guesses what I'm doing right now. Don't want to open the side. Uh, this is still prepped. That's good. We got one dead. We got one healed. We got one on hook. I'm in a really comfortable scenario right now. I'm gonna trap this. Just a nice obvious trap. Doesn't really matter. We've still got this prepped, which is really, really big. Somebody was on this. Good to know. And they ran out through the back. Wow, quick and quiet. I didn't expect quick and quiet. Well done. I was pretty sure I was just gonna walk over and grab it, but okay, quick and quiet. Sprint first, Megan. Not an issue right now. We're gonna prep this window. We know we're the full health guys. The other one wouldn't have made it in time. She triggered my trap in front of the generator. I was pretty sure I was going across the board, but she must have triggered that at the perfect time. All right, let's go over here. Let's put a trap on her and then see if we can find the other two through the board. Now, I don't know if she hit struggle, but I think she was pretty close. Get that done. Put another trap in front of the generator. I don't expect them to fall for this trap, but it just gives me an indicator of where people are. Kind of like a high traffic zone. If they don't do gens, then they don't get out of the trial. I reckon these guys are at the shack. I don't hear crying, and the other Megan... I can hear healing happening right now. That's disappointing. I was hoping it was the other guy. She has self-care. That's dangerous. Dangerous for me, because she can hide in self-care. She triggers a trap. I'll probably come in for it, if it's a totem trap. If it... It's not the totem trap, I won't worry. I'm gonna put this here, a little bit further away. Haven't checked on the gen downstairs, but that's okay. In fact, you know what, I got, I got time. They'll probably come in and save that other guy while I'm doing this. I don't hear it. All good. All right, we've got four gens left, one player dead. It looks like nobody wants to work on a generator at the moment. And that puts me in a pretty, pretty good spot. Does mean the game's gonna take a little longer. They triggered my trap up. No, they didn't trigger my trap upstairs. All right, that's good. I don't see them letting this guy die first hook. As I can see she's crouch walking over now then. Pretty sure that's what I saw. That's unfortunate. I wanna chase this one because she's just been immersed for quite some time now. And one in the back. I don't know how she plans to play it. She needs to run away. You got another trap on your right. Beautiful. So she was good at hiding, but unfortunately it doesn't look like looping is her strong point. And the other guy has healed himself through self-care. The other guy feels a little bit... I don't want to use the word careless, but he's walking everywhere to save his sprint burst. He's not crouch walking. He's walking. Now it makes sense why she was being immersed. Let's see if we can find this final gamer. We're going to give it 60 seconds. Nah, not even. We're going to give it 30 seconds. If we can't find him, we're just going to pick the other one up. 30 seconds. My daddy went to a generator. Hasn't even been touched. We'll open our door for a little extra one point. Alright, that'll do. We'll go pick her up. Now, the hatch is an option. So let's see if we can find her, pick her up, hook her, and see if the other guy's lucky enough to get the hatch. Quickly check around to see if she actually came in. Alright. Let's go for the pickup. There are four generators left and the hatch will be an option. So we'll see how lucky the other guy is. It can spawn downstairs here. 
or it can spawn all the way. Okay. Well, that changes things. So she was coming in for the save. Don't take the window, beautiful. That didn't work, did it? I might be able to teleport again. Now I was a little delayed on that. Oh, right on top of her. Right on top of her. Um, now realistically, the other guy has a chance of wiggling off. This guy doesn't have a chance of wiggling off. So, other guy still has a plausible play towards the hatch. If this guy isn't on death hook. Alright, let's put this here. We know she has sprint burst. We saw it before. I'm pretty sure every player in this game actually had sprint burst. Uh, did she crawl away to the corner? I don't actually know where she went. I dropped her over here. I guess she could have crawled back through here because the hatch can spawn downstairs. Let's have a bit of a look. Negative on this side. Listening through the ground here. Don't hear it. Now we're just looking for the hatch against a Megan who had quick and quiet and sprint burst. Therefore, highly likely she's going to have adrenaline. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one of these doors before I close that hatch, which is dangerous. Very, very dangerous. There. It's in a really bad spot for me. Especially because the other door might be nowhere near. I'm very far away from the hatch spawn now, so she has time to crawl to the hatch. Let's trap this door. All she has to do is crouch walk over and open the door. It's fine, but when she... When she um, opens the door and stands up, if she doesn't crouch, we'll be able to teleport an M1 -er. Unless she gets the hatch right now because we moved away. Alright. Now let's close the hatch. No adrenaline. I'm shocked because I'm pretty sure she had uh, quick and quiet with sprint burst. Maybe it was another one of the Megans. So we don't actually know where she has crawled to. And I tell you what, if I find her and I can pick her up, we'll take her to the door. But chances of me finding her now is, like, very slim. She's had a lot of time to crawl. I'm on the opposite side of the board. I doubt she'll be over here. Hmm. I still feel she's over here somewhere, unless she crawled downstairs. I don't hear anything. What I can do is get another 100 blood points over the door. Another 25 for another trap. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. That's going to be an educational informative rank 2, I believe. A rank 2 how game. If you enjoyed it with no add-ons, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do education. It's rank 3. Um, I do educational informative DVD killer and survivor content five days a week over at Twitch. If you guys want to tune into the live stream. That being said, thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the fog in the next video. Have a good one.